I know a family who have a little three-year-old girl whose name's Piper, who needs a lot of help um, to overcome some medical problems she has with seizures. My, my heart goes out to people like Michael and Summer, and Summer in particular, because Michael's at work most of the time as a policeman. Summer's home 24-7, and because Piper has seizures all the time and they never know when the next seizure's going to come, she's got to be alert all the time. But I just can't imagine, I start to imagine the stress and um, the involvement that uh, needs to go into just making sure that Piper is kept safe. John's been a godsend to us. We've had a lot of trying times and as you can understand with a child with a disability like Piper, um, it becomes a struggle. And just to have somebody like John in our lives. It's helped us in so many ways. Um, John's donations and, and fundraising is just unbelievable. He's helped us uh, redo our bathroom to make it into a disability bathroom, uh, which is just unbelievable. It helps my wife and Piper every single day and without his help we wouldn't have been able to get that done. His fundraising has contributed to us going over to China for some medical treatment that's not available in Australia. I really just can't say enough about the man. Nearly every single day of the week he's out shaking his tin trying to fundraise for kids in need and trying to help people in his community. Thank you very much for that. I was motivated in the early days to want to fundraise and through the fact that I used to get bullied a lot at school and at work and I undertook a, a major fundraiser many, many years ago and led on from there and it's become part of a way of life. Although you don't physically um, go through the same physical problems as these children, you take a, a journey, an emotional journey with the family and I've come to really be very close to a lot of these families over the years. It's all got to go into, um for okay. One case in particular, a young 17 year old lad that passed away four years ago, um, I actually held his hand when he took his last breath. I keep on going because um, especially the way Josh even handled in his last hours, um, I can always remember him uh, turning to his father and saying it'll be alright dad. Um, and I think it sort of gives you a little bit of um, encouragement, I suppose, or um, inspires you to want to do more for these families. And these children, they deserve every chance in life that they can get. I can't stop fundraising because I look at the lives of these children and what they go through, and more often than not, um, most of these children have always got a big smile on their face regardless of what they're going through. and. Uh, I think they inspire me to want to do um, more. I just hope that um, along the way that I try to inspire others to um, help each other. And I'll, I'll go on until um, the day I'm no longer on this earth trying to help people.